That's what at the end of First Thessalonians chapter 1 he says, It is he who transforms the broken vessels into life giving. It doesn't happen like that. You have to, we have to, when we wait on that, he turn, when we turn to God from the idol to serve the living God, he says, verse 10, wait and to wait for his son from heaven. It is not the second coming. He says, when we wait on the Lord, you suddenly see the heaven gets opened. And then you see the presence of God comes to you. Jesus, as we read in Matthew chapter 3, notices a great lion of people standing in front of John the Baptist, crying, We are sinners. Lord, have mercy on us and baptize us. It's called, John's baptism is known as baptism of repentance, baptism of humility, baptism of cry of heart to God, Lord, with my sin I have lost everything. With my sin I have broken myself. Lord, I can't live by myself. I need you. Let's put it in the scripture language. It is the heart of repentance. Heart of um, contrite heart. That's why in Psalm 51 it is written, Lord, you do not move away from the heart of contrite. From the contrite heart you never move away. You never go away from the broken hearted. God is close to the broken hearted and so on. So we find Jesus uh, standing in the line along with the other people who are saying we are sinners. We need God in our lives. Without God we can't proceed anymore. We need him. And Jesus stands along with them. We only talk about the baptism of Jesus. We only talk about when we see chapter 3 that the heaven gets opened and the Holy Spirit came and sat on his shoulder and a great voice was heard from heaven that he is my beloved son. Listen to him. This all happens when the heaven got opened. Only that we speak. But how that incident took place? Jesus humbles himself, acknowledges himself with the sinners and stands with the sinners. That's what the word here, First Thessalonian, St. Paul says, when we are broken, the word used is he mends. Yes, he mends the he doesn't uh, uh, heal it. When you mend it, you see the crack. The sign is that it is put together. You know. So Jesus stood with the uh, sinners who are standing in the line. He has heard them praying. I have done that stupidity. I did this. I did that. I did all the blunders. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. See, there is a book called Haggai. In that book, Haggai, chapter 1, verse 6, Haggai says, Hello, my dear, he calls the people of his. They were uh, actually a priest called Joshua was sent to build the temple. And Joshua, instead of building the temple, he got the money and he was enjoying the money. For him, ministry is to enjoy. For him, ministry was to collect money. 
and he was enjoying not building the temple you know actually the uh, ruler called cyrus he gave lot of money lot of gold and all the gold and silver which the babylonian kings took it from jerusalem temple which was conquered by cyrus cyrus is not a babylonian he is a persian persian king so he took it and gave it to joshua go build that temple joshua and the other priests and they were enjoying with all their riches and they were so happy and two references made one is in the book of sakaria another one is in the book of hagai god sends two people a priest called sakaria and the prophet called hagai to go and talk to them to all these people who you have taken all this and you are living for yourself so first i explain to you the book of hagai chapter 1 verse 6 and verse it says the lord tells through hagai hello my dear you have plenty of money but nothing remains in you you have a bag full of holes have you noticed it you are eating nicely chicken mutton this and that but you are still hungry you are wearing designed designed clothes and dresses still you feel cold you think that you are you know every knowledge but your families are broken have you ever noticed now you have sown much and you harvested very little you eat but you never have enough ha huh? you drink but you never had your fill you clothe yourselves but you can't be warm through the ministry you think you are earning the wages but nothing is remaining with you there are holes but actual the translation have you have you considered why these things are happening to you why these things are happening to you because without the presence of god you can earn money but happiness comes from god happiness is an inside job where the lord abides happiness is an inside job that's what augustine later found and said my heart is restless o oh god until it finds its rest in you my heart is running here my heart is running there i want to do this i want to do this i want to become like this i want to become famous i want to become the leader i want to be everything there's nothing wrong but they are not the life life is not found there life is found where you meet your savior you prepare yourself for him you wait for him and he comes as isaiah chapter 40 30 and verse says those who wait on the lord they receive the strength of the lord and they fly high and high like the eagle they fly higher and higher who are the people fly high spiritually who are the people who fly in peace and serenity of god the joy of god those who learn to wait on the lord waiting for the presence of god the lord spoke through hagai you are not waiting on the lord go to the mountain leave all this nonsense go to the mountain wait for the lord cut the trees build the temple for the lord and in the temple learn to abide with him another passage this is god gave through her guy 
God also spoke through Zachariah to the same group of people who were sent by Cyrus to build the temple. They forgot God. They forgot the temple. They were enjoying their life. In chapter of 3, Zachariah, we read, God called the Christ, so called the high priest and he asked him, Hello, my dear. Look, the Lord showed me on your right side, Satan is standing. Ammo, to whom he is addressing? To a high priest. To a priest who is serving at the temple of the Lord. By becoming a priest, by doing the work of the service to God, offering the mass to God, we don't become somebody different. Until our hearts throbs His presence. Until our being enthralled with His presence. Yes. Every being Every fiber of my being should vibrate that I belong to God and I long for God. My dear friends, Sangam on Plus TV is God's gift for you for our times. Like, comment, share and subscribe. God will do wonders in your life. Praise the Lord.